Hello, Lorna, Doug Swafford, First American Title. Wanted to go over the property application for Southeast 19th Avenue. When you click on the link in my email, this is the landing page. And you can click on any of the parcels to get some tax lot information. And feel free to zoom out, zoom in, and walk as far as you like on the map. Okay. Uh, number two, number two is going to be uh, city boundaries. Three is zoning. Four is flood risk. And notice that it's about a 1% chance if there were a 100-year flood um, that would cover the property is about a 1% chance. Okay. Number five is a soil report. So it breaks it into sectors. If you tap, you get the soil report. Okay. Number six is topography. And as you zoom in, it gives you the footprint of the buildings. Land use report. This is the land use report embedded. And so you have all 27 pages. And with this land use report, you can zoom in. And the share button, you could share the whole entire report straight out of your uh, map app. You can text message it or email it. Number eight. Eight is the entire profile for Portland Maps. And so we have that built in here. You can check the permits, the zoning and click on the other parcels and do the same thing. Number nine is your website. If we have this go live, we could hyperlink right to the listing on your website. If we uh, do some aerials, we can add more buttons. If you have some documentation to help with the sale, we can add some of that documentation as numbers going across. Okay. Right up here, this is Facebook. You click this, it puts this entire map interactive on your wall. You can tweet it. The little link next to here, click on that. This is your shortened URL, the shortened link that you would use in your marketing. This is the embed code, so you can frame it in and embed it on a website. We could help you do that. If you hit autoplay and open, now this presentation is going to be on a timer, and it's going to switch screens every 10 seconds. So 10 seconds from now, it's going to go to number two. And then it's going to move on and on, then loop. You can set it to 60 seconds per screen if you like. Okay. And if somebody likes the screen, they could pause it. You can navigate the screen and then hit start to continue the countdown. Hope this has been helpful and look forward to fine tuning this a little bit with you. Have a great day.